in today's video, we're going to show you how to build a bridge. One that when connected to a simulator will allow you to test multiple telemetry units just using this single simulator. I will lay out a list of tools and supplies that you'll need to build this bridge. Here in front of you, you see a list of all the parts and tools you're going to need to build your simulator slash bridge. Here you have a dual row, six position terminal strip. You will need five of these. A 25 inch rail that will be cut into 21 inch pieces. 25 spade terminals. You will need five rolls of primary wire. Typically you'd want these in different colors. You need eight machine screws and nuts. You're going to need one simulator to be able to put inside this non-metallic enclosure which will contain the bridge you're going to build. Over here you have the tools required which will be an electric drill, wire cutters, and a screwdriver. Before the construction of your bridge, remove the screws from one side of all four of your terminal strips. To begin construction of your bridge, use the terminal strip as your guide. Mark the two mounting bolt hole locations. Using a straight edge and the marks you just made, draw intersecting lines to mark the exact locations for the mounting bolt holes. Now that the locations are marked, you can drill the holes. We recommend using a small bit first to drill a guide hole, then a larger bit to finish the hole. Using machine screws, mount the terminal strip on the underside of the case and then attach the bolts. Using the mounted terminal strip as a guide, mark the five lead post hole locations. Once you have all of these marks made, you'll want to remove the terminal strip.
After removing your terminal strips, once again using a straight edge and the marks you just made, draw intersecting lines to mark the exact locations for your lead post holes. Now that the locations are marked, you can drill the holes. Once again, we recommend using a small bit first to drill a guide hole, then a slightly larger bit to finish. Next step is drilling a hole in the side of your case 